What is up guys? Another video today on MK Mobile based on another suggestion that you guys left in one of my previous videos and this suggestion was extremely good because uh, you know I don't really like Injustice to Raiden I do realize that he's one of the best characters in the game but I just don't like using him he's just not my cup of tea but today I'm going to showcase an extremely overpowered strategy using Injustice to Raiden, which together with Lizard Jade turns him into a total beast, almost unkillable. Now, reason being, uh, thanks to Lizard Jade, she has the team trio effect that uh, five stacks can reduce the power generation of the enemy team, the enemy character by 50%. On top of that, we have the Varmint Slicky Hat, which reduces by another 30%. And on top of that, we have weak point attacks and the fact that um, this guy actually uh, siphons the power of uh, the enemy character every second and on top of everything every single siphon tick is going to give one stack of team drill so in a way injustice to raid and lizard jade are designed to work together it's absolutely astonishing i didn't believe it at first but when i tested it it was super cool so in a way you will guarantee to have five stacks of the team trio always as long as you're using Injustice to Raiden. You don't need any other type of debuff. Look at this. Now it's going to have one, three, four, five, and it will stay five forever. And at this particular point, I was going to do something uh, very, very important so that you can see what is uh, the rate she generates power. Unfortunately, at this point, she has some uh, power. So what I'm trying to do is I'll try to get her really, really low on power. So I'm going to wait on the combo ender here, you see. Uh, and I'm going to wait again. As you can see, by the way, she's doing one full combo and she is unable to get, to get her special one. This is how busted it is. And I'm always constantly at five stacks. Okay, I'm going to wait a little bit here. I'm going to wait a little bit here. All right, do a combo. That's one full combo. It literally did almost nothing. So in a way, it, it's impossible for them to gain special one ever with this strategy. It is absolutely busted. So I'm going to do uh, X-ray to this girl, killing her in the process. And I hope for the next match, the starter of the enemy team will actually have a lot of power. Unfortunately, this has a very negative effect on a Dark Raiden, so I have to kill him immediately. And I hope for the next fight we'll be facing somebody uh, who will start again with zero bars of power so that you can see how insanely difficult for this guy will be to get to his special one. Uh, if he's hitting me all the time, I'm not hitting him. He, he will probably require five or six, anybody but not classic smoke, please. Five or six full combos in order to get to special one. Uh, so, all right. I believe this girl is fine. Now, I'm going to snare her, of course, because I have weak point attacks, the talent. But what I will do now is I will just keep blocking and pay attention to her bar of power. Look at this. She has nothing, which is good, all right? And now, one full combo feels like one-fifth or one-sixth of her power bar. And she loses immediately, like loses half of it because of the, soul, uh, the siphoning of her power. How many combos she would require now to get a special one? I did you actually count it because I, I lost the count. Look at this. It's so difficult for her to get to special one. It's absolutely ridiculous. And remember, she cannot really critical or do any criticals because I have Elder God Kenshi to additionally support me. Anyways, I'm going to kill this girl. And I wonder who is going to come next. Johnny. All right, he's going to special one. And now look at him. I think he's doing a little bit better than Sonia. Still, he cannot get to special one. That's one full combo with combo ender, and he was has uh, he had like half a power bar already there, and he couldn't get to special one. And on top of everything, I can hit him, and I cannot really get him to special one <laughs> by me. I mean, by virtue of me punching him, right? So crazy, crazy good strategy. This strategy basically uh, makes sure that Injustice Raiden will always, and I mean always, uh, have extremely good advantage against his enemies and you've already seen legendas using injustice to raiden against and uh, enraged um, team compositions in towers so if he has lizard j to support raiden it's going to be even better because you're currently seeing you're witnessing how super hard it is for the enemy to get to special one not to mention special two special two probably is going to be impossible special one is difficult special two is going to be impossible unfortunately in order to test that I need to make sure that I have... Um, there was actually 
at the above that um, it was silence, I believe. It was a silence at the above that was making sure that they cannot do special one, so they can only do special two. Uh, so yeah, but as you can see, even when it comes to special one, they can hardly get there. So you cannot imagine what's going to happen to special two, special three. All right, again, this guy has no power, so I won't even block. Okay, that's combo number one. He's not even close. Combo number two, that two full combos with combo enders. Combo number three, he's almost there. Combo number four, he's halfway there. Combo number six, with combo ender. Combo number seven, with combo ender. Combo number eight, that didn't have combo ender. Nine, again, no combo ender. Ten. Come on. He needed 11 combos in order to get to special one. That's absolutely crazy. Unfortunately, I need to see what was the gear that was disabling special one. And I need to, uh, to find a fight where the enemy will actually have uh, one bar of power ready. But I believe you got the idea that if it takes 11 full combos to get from nothing to special one, it will probably take twice as many to get from special one to special two, which is absolutely ridiculous. So again, you can further amplify the strategy by making sure that the enemies uh, have, uh, let's say, if they even uh, acquiring par uh, power faster because they have enraged modifier, uh, you can try to uh, actually to you know silence them so that they cannot get to special two. All right, I'm going to test that in a second. All right, this is what's going to happen. I will do special two of Raiden. Uh, which is going to apply um, silence thanks to the Wushu Master Guan Dao Blade. You can successful perform special attack to apply silence debuff for 15 seconds to the whole opponent team. And what I will try to make sure is that um, the, the enemy character that I'm fighting has at least one bar of power so that you can see how many combos it will take them to get from special one to special two with this particular strategy. Um, okay. Uh, Kenshi actually already has a special one ready, so I really hope that Kenshi is going to tag and, and not Scorpion. All right, beautiful. Okay, let's see now. Hit me. I want to see how fast he generates power from special one to special... Oh my god, it's nothing. Look at this. <laughs> he cannot get to special two ever. He literally cannot get to special two ever. Wow. Now, I'm going to kill him using my special too. I hope he's not going to die. Actually, he's not going to die because he has the thing, you know, he has uh, um, immunity to uh, critical hit. So I'm going to kill him and then Hans Tokasash is going to attack with one bar of power. Look at this. Unfortunately, my guy's <laughs> almost dead. I have to take something for... It's impossible. It's impossible for them ever to get to special two. With five team trio stacks, with a lucky hat, it's impossible for them to get to special two. Probably it's going to be possible but extremely difficult for uh, an enraged modifier team but in the general case faction wars if they don't have two bars of power ready they can never do special to only justice to raiden uh, so in a way you're good to go just make sure that you have jade even at fusion zero it will do uh, of course incurability is a bit tricky so it's not just this piece, by the way. It's not just the Guandao Blade. Also, you can have the Shintai of Revenge, or you can have the Jaxophone. Uh, there are certain pieces that gives uh, in, uh, not incurability, but silence, I'm sorry, uh, so that you can uh, make sure they don't do special one. I hope that they're going to introduce more pieces in the future. But at the end of the day, as long as you uh, make sure that they cannot do special ones, they can never, ever get to special two, not to mention X-rays. So... Uh, in a way, you're good to go. They can only hurt you by basic attacks if you even let them do that because you are Injustice Raiden, one of the best fighters in the game. All right, guys, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, thumbs up. Once again, very, 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 thank you very much uh, for the, the insight. You guys actually helped me and gave me this information. It's super cool. I am not the person who discovered it. I'm just making sure that many people know about it. Uh, I think it's really, really cool. See you next time, guys. Take care. Perfect.